Hi everyone. I thought I've got all these things in my head going round and round and round and I keep thinking, oh, I need to write about that, I need to write about that. But um, I just haven't had the chance to sit down and write. So I thought, while I'm wrapping zines, I would just do a video. Um, so the zines are amazing. They're like <coughs> going really, really well. And um, this is a January zine and it's all full of nature and if you've been watching me on social media you'll have seen I did a video and um, keep sharing pictures and stuff. So I had this idea over Christmas that I wanted to do something seasonal and monthly and ever since being a little kid I've liked cutting and sticking and drawing and just making um, and uh, yeah I remember when I was I don't know probably 11 maybe 12 we had this uh, project at school and you had to um, I think it was over the summer holidays maybe you had to do a scrapbook about your town and stuff and I grew up in Blackpool which is a seaside town in the northwest and we have a big Blackpool Tower and piers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so my mum got me this scrapbook and I remember it had yellow and pink pages in it and uh, with her help I drew a big Blackpool Tower on the front of it and we went around all the hotels and collected leaflets and all sorts of stuff and I, and I just loved it, it was just brilliant and I was so proud of it and then like I've done other bits and pieces when I was a kid but then when I was um, a single mum, probably like in my early 20s, I used to go to play groups and um, this is before I had a business. So I used to go to play groups with the kids and there was always different play groups on and different kinds of things happening, you know, like mum and toddler group and all that kind of stuff. Um, and But there was like, no, this was before like internet stuff, um, there was nowhere where you could go and, and think like, oh right, well it's Tuesday today so I'll go to so and so or whatever. Um, and me, being me, I thought, oh I can do something about that. So I used my typewriter, the one that you'll have seen in my social media posts if you're on Instagram and stuff, um, the same typewriter, I used that one. And I typed up some, they were just like, like little booklets, um, I can't remember how many pages, maybe like four pages, and uh, I typed them up and they said like where everything was on, what time it was on, what day it was on, all that kind of stuff, a little bit about um, other kids stuff, I don't really remember much what I put in there. Um, but then the next time I went to play group, I sold them for 50p um, to the mums and they were really popular. But when I think about it <laughs> now, like, can you imagine typing up four full pages, like back and front, on a typewriter and making all these things? Oh, it must have taken me ages. Um, isn't that funny? Anyway, I thought it was brilliant because I, I made a lot, loads of 50p's. <laughs> um, and 50p then would have bought a whole bag of potatoes. So, uh, yeah, I think I, felt, I felt pretty abundant um, when I was selling them. And then, yeah, and I've, I've done bits of this, that and the other over the years. And just over Christmas, I was just like, oh, do you know... I do do what I love, I do, um, but a lot of the time it feels like I'm just doing stuff for doing it to, to try and earn money and even though I enjoy things that I do, it's, it doesn't like fill me with complete and utter joy. Well, so I started making this January Z yes, one. Um, and I've used stampers and cutouts and all sorts of stuff and it's got all different 
things inside. I'll show you on this in case you've not seen it. Um, and it's full of folklore and animals and all sorts of lovely naturey things. Um, and I, I, I put did it and I put it onto my Etsy shop, which is called Dotty Delightful. And um, I thought I'd sell a few. I did think I'd sell a few. But it's gone wild. Like, <laughs> really wild. And I'm so grateful. Like, I'm so, so happy and grateful that people love it so much. And I keep getting customer feedback saying, like, how much they enjoyed it. And especially, like, now with everything that's going on. Um, in, the, in the minute of the UK, we're in lockdown um i hate that it's called that i really do I hate that it's called that um makes you feel like a prisoner but we're not prisoners we are free free people um so yeah with with bloody lockdown happening i think people are looking to more simple ways really and joy and nature so uh yeah it's brilliant really brilliant and i've got so many ideas for february zine so it's going to be monthly it's going to come out every month um and each month will obviously be themed around that month so by the end of the year if you collect it you, you'd have a whole year's worth um of lovely things about the month so it'll be brilliant um and then last night it was a new moon last night I hope you can hear with all this rustling. Um, it was a a new moon, and that's a great time for manifesting and bringing things in that you want to attract into your life. Um, and I don't know if it was that energy or or what it was, but I was up till super late, and I had my journal next to my bed. Thank goodness. And I've just come up with so many different ideas of things that I want to make and I want to do and it's going to be so much fun. Um, so yeah, it, it's just it's just fabulous uh, and it's all nature based as well and it's all seasonal. Um, and when I say nature, I don't just mean like what's going on outside growing and stuff like flowers and trees and, and things. What I mean is... Um, things like foraging, things like herbal remedies, just living with the seasons really. And then every season I'm going to do a bumper zine. So uh, these ones are 16 pages. So the eight pages of A4 folded in half. So there's 16 sides and that was like a little dance and um for the seasonal ones for one every season so one a quarter i am going to do a bumper 32 page issue so i can go even deeper into things and it's going to be full of folklore and magic and nature and oh just loads of scrummy stuff um and also my other exciting thing is that I have now got a zine club level on my Patreon. So if you want to join zine club and get a zine sent to you every month, you can pop over to my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com forward slash dotty and then it's underscore delightful. But if you search in the box dotty delightful, it comes up. Um, so yeah, pop over to that uh, website and have a look and I've got a zine club and you can join. So every month you don't have to do anything, the money just comes out on the first of the month and um, I send you a zine package. Da -da -da. And also I'm really excited because yesterday I got my first zine club member sign up and so today after I've packaged all these orders... I am going to make some zine club membership badges um, for no reason apart from the, the fun. So I don't know if you remember when, maybe you too young to remember, but I remember when I was a kid there was this club called the Tufty Club and it was a squirrel that um, 
used to help children cross the road safely and you could get Tufty Club stickers. Now I always wanted to be in a Tufty Club but um, I never was in the Tufty Club because we were poor. <laughs> so um, I've always loved things like clubs and stickers and membership cards and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a zine club membership card. Da -da -da. And then when you sign up, the first zine that gets sent out to you, you will also get your own personalised zine club membership card. And I was thinking about this before and I thought how cool would it be if after all this silliness goes away in the world that zine club members if they have a membership card can come to special events so i could put on workshops we could do zine making things together all sorts of stuff um so how cool would that be so if there was like a special event or something or a workshop it could be zine club members only and you'd have to show your card at the door to get in how fun would that be um and also like you could get discount on things as well so that'd be well good. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Um, now I've got to put all my orders for today into some envelopes and draw on the envelopes. And then I will show you, I've got my journal book, which I've been filling with stuff. Look at this. So I watched this lady on YouTube the other day called Sandy Hester, and she's lovely. I, I just adore her. If it was in real life and we lived near each other, she's in America and I'm in England, um, if we lived near each other I'd really want to be a friend, I'd really want to go and have a cup of tea with her. So if you've not watched her channel, check her out because I just love her, I really do. Um, so she was saying about making bad art and um, it's really weird right, when you're an artist and this is your job that you kind of well, I'm generalising, but me, I kind of think that everything that I make has to be a certain level and it's got to be good enough for sale and all this kind of stuff. And it really, like, messes with your head. Um, so Sandy was saying that, no, you've got to make loads of bad art. If you make bad art, it's good because when you make bad art, you learn and stuff and you are free and you're loose. She says it's all about being loose. And then you can um, make good art. So I was like, yeah, I kind of like that idea that there's actually anything that I do, it doesn't all have to be for sale and it doesn't all have to be for my business and all stuff like this. So I was like, yes, I'm determined every day in my sketchbook, I'm going to make some bad art, not intentionally bad, some of it might end up being good, but I'm going to make some art where I don't care what the outcome is. Um, I'm not going to judge myself if it's terrible or if it's not terrible. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to play and have fun. So, <laughs> are you ready? So, I looked at a picture of me when I was little and I was like, just use your um, ink blocks. I'll get them. I'll show, you to, show them to you if I can reach them. So, they're brilliant. So, look at these. I treated myself to these um, before Christmas and oh, and you get two layers in them so there's like loads of different colours and they're really nice because you can use them just like a crayon but you can also add water to them um, and make them like kind of watercolour so they're called ink tense blocks blocks even so, are you ready for my first piece? <laughs> now, if you follow me on any of my social media, I'm dotty delightful on everything, by the way, um, you'll have seen my art and seen that actually I've been doing it for quite a few years and I'm all right most of the time. <laughs> Look, at <this. laughs> Look at this state of it. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a female. <laughs> I'm terrible. But normally I'd have ripped it up and put it in the bin and been like, I am not showing that to anybody. Um, but because of Sandy and uh just be loose <laughs> This is what I drew. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the nose. 
<laughs> what is that about? Um, and just to mention, the other thing that I did, which I thought was brilliant, quite genius actually, never mind the face, um, but we're not travelling at the moment, are we? We're like, we can't travel on a plane to places. Ugh, it's really bad. And I wanted to go to France for so long, and I wanted to go to Paris for so long. Anyway, um, the other day a lady ordered a zine off me, and she lives in France, and she's got a beautiful address. And in her address it says about roses, and I was like, oh, oh that's magic. Anyway, I ended up on a on Google Maps, um, and I went into the, I don't know how you say this very well, but it was the Montmartre district. That's probably wrong how you say it, but anyway, imagine that. Um, in Paris on Street View and I did my little man and I went round all the streets and I was looking at all the houses and the shops and everything and it was like I was there. Oh it was good. Um you couldn't taste the croissant so that's the only downside. But it made me think, oh look at this and it was a really nice scene of all these uh, houses and stuff like that and I thought if I'd have actually gone to France in real life I'd have taken my sketchbook with me and um, maybe my little watercolour palette and stuff and I'd have just roughly done a sketch and I thought well why don't I do that now so I did so it's not brilliant uh, oh it's quite bright isn't it because we're by the window but it just I'd, it like took two minutes but it just took me out of oh I can't go anywhere and stuff so honestly if you're feeling like that get on your google street view pick a country that you've always wanted to go to and just wander around with your little man looking up and looking down and looking at all the things and stuff and then if you do art or even if you don't just get a biro or something and just sketch some stuff that you see so it's lovely it's really nice anyway I've talked enough um I hope the noise is not too loud because I can hear my washing machine going and obviously I've been crinkling paper and stuff while I've been wrapping um, but I just wanted to jump on and tell you these funny little things oh and lastly oh, this is really exciting so on my patreon page I've been sharing because I'm such a sharer I want to share everything all the time that I do but this is a secret project so I've been making stop motion videos right I'm, a, I'm crap at it I'm, I am but I'm learning and that's okay and it's nothing to do with business and it's nothing to do with selling or mentoring or anything like that or helping anyone basically I'm just playing I'm having fun so I cut out um, I don't know where I've put them but I cut out all these little shapes and, and I drew a figure and everything and I've just been playing with stop motion and I made my first two videos yesterday so I've shared it over to my Patreon page and my patrons can see it and they thought it was brilliant so that's really exciting so this whole new moon and this whole week and everything it's just all about fun and my in a six-year-old she's so happy um yes so it's been lovely so check that out too um i do a blog on there as well and you don't have to be a patron to read the blog some posts come up for everyone and some are secret for the patrons so check it out have an amazing week i am going to finish off my orders goodbye